Hello everybody, this is Briskin, not an 8, also known as David. Um, so the gameplay that I'm going to be bringing you today, this is, uh, the Starhawk Public Beta, and it is on the map space. Um, so if you guys don't know what Starhawk is, it's pretty much, it's supposed to be a sequel like Warhawk, but in my opinion, it's not that similar. And today, this video, I'm pretty much just going to be talking about the pros and cons. Um, so starting off with the build and battle thing that you just saw me do there, you can like build structures and then use them. Uh, this is a sniper tower, for example. Um, the pros to this is that like if you're being shot at, you can just build a bunker and get some weapons, or you can like build a wall to cover you, and it it lets you like take a lot more evasive maneuvers, I guess you could say. But um, the cons that I think is that the structures seem to get destroyed really easily to me, like. I'm on this sniper tower looking for someone to snipe in this bunker, and they shoot, like, one rocket launcher, and there you see it. Um, my sniper tower just fell down. And uh, the knife, I don't really like the knife because I love the combat blade in Warhawk because you could, like, walk around with it, and um, it was a lot easier to slice people, whereas here you have to keep uh, pressing R3 when you're close to, to knife someone, and I don't really like that at all. Um, also, the flying... Um, it's really fun. It's pretty much like Warhawk for me, but, um, but there's a lot more cons to the flying, I think. Um, one is that I cannot kill anyone. Like, I mean, I kill quite a few people actually, but the homie missile, cause, oh yeah, one con is that I think they need more weapons. I know they're updating it and stuff, so they'll probably eventually update it to put in more weapons, but right now they just have like these air mines, um, swarm missiles and homie missiles. And the homing missile does not do even, like, close to enough damage. Um, like, I don't know. Because in Warhawk, you just machine gun someone a little bit, and then you can kill them with the homing missile. This one, it seems like it's a lot easier to swerve out of it and doesn't kill them as easily. So that's kind of annoying. Um, also, the health, like, I don't know, but I can't find the health bar. So I never know how close my plane is to dying, except for, like, seeing how far it is on fire. And... I don't know, it feels like it has really little health, because I'll get hit by, like, two or three swarm missiles. Or two or four swarm missiles, and then I will be, like, dead. Also, the sniper, it's really good, but it seems to take two hits per person, which is a load of crap, because Warhawk, my favorite thing, was the sniper, and it was really easy to kill someone, because it was one hit every time. And this is, like, two or three hits. I think that's two, but I might have just missed a few times. But, anyway, two hits, so... Like, no-scoping people is not as easy unless you get them in the head or if they're already damaged. So it's really annoying. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, well, also the maps. I mean, they're decently big, but I feel they're pretty small compared to Warhawk. But what really makes them feel really small is how cluttered they are. Like, you'll see soon when I'm flying around, when I try to land in the enemy base, there's, like, nowhere to land except right in the middle of their base, like... Warhawk, everything was evenly balanced, and there was definitely, like, a lot more space to do stuff. So, I mean, there's some really good points to this game, but I think just because I'm a Warhawk player, I keep comparing it to Warhawk, so I keep thinking that it's, like, really bad. Because this game by itself is pretty good, but when I try to play it like I try to play Warhawk, it makes it bad. And there you see I just got a homie missile kill. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it still has the green for your name when you kill someone, which I love, because I love seeing that gr green kill feed. Now it's even brighter. And um, also, uh, something that really annoys me about flying is, like, I don't know if I press a button. I'm pretty sure I don't because it happens all the time. Um, but sometimes I'll be flying around, and it'll just, like, turn me into, um, it'll turn me into, like, the walk-around hawk mode where you can, like, walk around on the ground. So I'll just drop out of the air, and then I'll have to press it again to keep going. And during that time, I usually get missiles locked onto me, or if I'm flying down pretty well already, then I'll, like, burn up in the atmosphere, because you can, like, suicide if you're in a hawk by, like, falling too far. Um, also, the air grounding is pretty hard, because you can't, like, hover, so you have to get down on the ground to kill people, and they usually, like, kill you pretty fast, because the hawk doesn't have, like, an insane amount of... See, there, I just got killed. It doesn't really have, like, an insane amount of, uh, health, so... You die pretty fast when you're down on the ground killing people. And um, I feel like the machine gun, I I haven't really played Starhawk a lot, but 
I feel like the machine gun is like it doesn't hit like when you're shooting at other hawks, it doesn't seem to hit them that often unless they're really close. Whereas Warhawk, it did like a better job of locking on, I guess. And um, so yeah, I definitely wish that they had more weapons throughout the um throughout the map. And it's really cluttered when you try to land anywhere. There's like no space to land. And um, also another thing, I hope like Modern Warfare Three, they have like the colorblind assist because I'm red green colorblind. So it is really hard, like, I mean, most of the time I can tell, but like you'll see in one of these videos, I see a, um, I see a, a hawk that's walking around, and it's apparently a friendly hawk, and I'm just shooting my machine gun on the, on the, um, on the Razorback, which is a Jeep. I was just shooting it at him for like five minutes, wondering why it wasn't dying. So I hope they have like an option where you can turn on colorblind assist, where it like makes like really like different colors. I can't remember what the one color is called, and then the other one's like, neon yellow <laughs> so that way you can actually tell see the air grounding is pretty easy if you have a homing missile you just shoot a homing missile at them and use some uh, machine guns and these turrets are really annoying because there's just a lot of them but the beam turrets probably annoy me the most and um so yeah as far as the razorback goes it's pretty much just like the jeeps from warhawk only you hold x you hold down x and then you can change around your seat whereas it's like square in warhawk and also, it feels like in Warhawk, when I enter a Jeep, like, towards the back, like, most of the time, I'll still get in the driver's seat, but every time that I ever enter the Razorback, I always end up in the shooter seat first, the gunner seat. And you see here, I try to blow this up, but I ran out of rocket launcher ammo, so I try sniping it, which doesn't do anything. Then I pull out the old rifle, which doesn't really do much, so I just decided to throw grenades. Also, grenades are L2, which, I mean, I kind of like being a Call of Duty player, but at the same time, I loved how Warhawk was different. Um, so yeah, overall, I'd say Starhawk is really fun, um, but in my opinion, no game will ever be better than Warhawk, and Starhawk's definitely not an, obs an, an uh, exception. Starhawk is fun, Warhawk is fun, but in my opinion, Warhawk's still better. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I know this commentary wasn't, like, exciting or, like, spontaneous or random like most of mine are, but um, I have another Starhawk gameplay I'm going to be commentating. That'll be more, like, entertaining, I guess. I just wanted to use this one just to talk over the pros and cons. Oh, also, you can gun down the turrets with a machine gun, which I find awesome. Um, and I don't know, but I don't think there's any tanks in this game. But, um... If there was, you could probably hurt them with the sniper rifle, because you can hurt most things with the... You can't hurt the planes with the sniper rifle, or at least not when they're on the ground. But I'm not sure if you can hurt them when they're flying. I haven't tried. But that's a load of crap, because everyone loves getting sniper air kills. Um, so yeah, this the last like minute and a half of the gameplay is pretty boring. I was just trying to kill someone in their base, but that's this friggin' beam turret right there. Also, whenever they're in their bunker like that, I can never seem to hit them. Like, if I shoot at them, it doesn't seem to like do any damage. Um, so yeah, the two-hit sniper really annoys me, because <laughs> that, that was one of my favorite things in Warhawk, and I hate how it takes two hits. So, um, yeah, thank, thank you guys again for watching, um, I know that I'm not one of the first ones to do Starhawk videos, but hopefully it's new enough that I'll get some new viewers, because not everyone has Starhawk videos, whereas a lot more people have Warhawk videos. Also, I'm doing some Call of Duty Marvel for 3 commentary soon because I've been playing for a couple days and I got some really good game saves. So, I really want to commentate some of those. Um, Alright, so yeah. Uh, so, you see there we won. I got some cool little award things, um, which gave me like extra bonus points, I guess. I'm like almost a level 3 now because um, I played some other games I didn't record. And in a second here, I think I'll go to the scoreboard and show you my score. On the second game, I accidentally hit Return to Homeworld, so I don't know what my score was. So my overall score was 8 kills and 3 deaths. Alright, well, thank you all for watching. Bye!